Well, howdy, 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 everybody. Teresa here, just me and the critters. It is a beautiful day out today. It is February 18, 2020. It is Tuesday afternoon at 2.43 p.m. Not too much weather doing right now. I'm going to mute my phone. If I don't, then we'll be getting notifications and stuff. Let's see. Yep. 73 degrees. Feels like 73. The high day will be 73. The low tonight will be 62. Uh, mostly cloudy. Uh, chance of dissipation is only 20% now tonight. Uh, humidity 79%. Wind is 8 miles per hour from the south. Sunrise was at 7.15 a.m. Sunset will be at 6.28 p.m. I have been working harder, and I know this is an old record, broken record, but try, try, try until you succeed to get up earlier. So I got up today about 10. And that's what it, about what time I got up yesterday, too. So, you know, I'm, it's getting earlier, so that's good. Um, I want to change that around, especially, you know, people be moving and stuff. And and uh, so kind of need to have daytime hours. So, uh, working on that. Um, a lot of stuff yesterday. I vacuumed and dusted out here. I worked in the art room, did this. You know, about once a year or uh, twice a year, I like to take. My cat uses the scoopable cat litter. But once or twice a year, I like to take in just one cat we have. I like to take in and remove all of that cat litter. You know, because you scoop and scoop and scoop, and then put it completely fresh. So yesterday was that, and then of course have to vacuum and clean up around there and stuff. Um, let's see, and I, I uh, started the chicken fajitas, and I put them off the kitchen. I did laundry, and I cleaned the bathroom. I think there was something else I did. I can't remember, but um, I didn't get the bedroom done. I might get the bedroom done today. Or I might do it tomorrow. I'm not sure yet. Um, that's about that. Oh, I wanted to show you guys some hats. I know I haven't done comment reading. I think I'm going to change that because I think... I know you guys love hearing the comments, but I think it gets a little redundant. Um, I'm going to go through and actually answer the comments. Um, typing in responses. And if it's a... If it's a comment or a question that I think needs to be addressed um, in the next video, that I'll do that. But at least then you guys will get a more personal response, which I think would be nice. Um, you know, so I wanted to show you guys some of the hats I have finished this week. Yeah, I got a couple more here. Yike. <laughs> okay, I have a lot of baby hats. Those things kind of in my way. Okay. All right. So, we got that infant hat done. That one there. And then this infant hat. It's got a green kind of berry on it. Or turquoise. So, yeah. There's that one. Uh, this one. It's got a palm on it. That's another infant. This is another infant. These two are all made from scraps. I actually made the scraps and tied them together because I didn't have any more scrap yarn. I'm like, I really love, I don't know why. I really love doing that because it gives all different colors and stuff. So, yeah. So, those two. Um, this is a small adult right here. Wooden button and then the curly. This is a medium adult. Yeah. Like here. Nice and colorful hat. And then the last one is a, what is this? Oh, this is actually a toddler. Toddler is probably would fit up to an age five or so. Got a kitty cat button. That. That. So those are the hats I got done this week. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I'm doing baby hats, it's, it doesn't take care of long, of course. Uh, so, yeah, I got those done. And I know why part of the reason I wanted to come on here is um, I use 
primarily these hooks. So Luma. I love these hooks. I love the handles. The handle, if you see how it's made, you can really grip onto it. It fits in my hand really nice. Um, and I wear these out actually because I will use them so much and stuff. So I have an older one. I don't know quite where it is, but um, yeah, I do it. I can't remember. Um, I just remember. See if I could find it here in my bag. See, Rebecca, I still use this all the time. This is what I call my goodie bag. It has my hooks in it. It's got some of my smaller looms and stuff in it. I use it all the time. There it is. You know. This is what I keep my needles in. This is good. Oh, and I have another container that my friend gave me that is um, got some bigger yarn needles in it. And it's a little green, almost like a pill bottle kind of. Um, but anyway, so this is one I've used apparently a lot. <laughs> you can see. You can see. I guess you can't see, but yeah, I mean, it's still fine. But you can just tell I, I've used it so much, you know, that, um, yeah, it's even discolored and everything. Um, it's not dirty. It's just discolored. I don't know why. But anyway, so I use those. Those are the KB Loom Knitting Hooks. You can find them. I know on Amazon. I know you probably can find them. eBay. Um, I don't know if Walmart carries them or not. I didn't look. Um you know, and I'm sure other yarn sites carry them and stuff. Um, but I just got in. I was excited. I just got in a couple a couple more sets because these two are the only two I have. Now, when I buy, like, a set of loons or something, they'll throw in um, a smaller handle hook. We have those around to use them for different stuff. If we need to pull a hole in something... Sometimes they're really good for opening up packages and that kind of stuff. But the other day, I only have I only have these two, like I was saying, and I could not find one of them. And I panicked because, like I said, these are all I use. So I got on there and I found, and it was really excited me. They had them in purple too. And I think these are seven ninety nine. Yeah, they're seven ninety nine on Amazon for free shipping. And so I got two sets, you know, because. Purple is my jam, and I had purple, and that way I have plenty of hooks for a while. Those just came in today, and I was excited because I was like, oh, you know. So, um, I'm going to sit and watch Grey's Anatomy over, and so I'm going to sit and watch at least an episode. Let's see. Yeah, an episode, maybe two, and then start with doing some housework. So I'm just kind of wanting to relax a little bit. I worked so hard yesterday and stuff. I was still doing laundry when Brad got home. I was up doing stuff until quarter till eight last night. And then it was like, okay, I'm done. You know, I didn't have the bedroom done or anything. I was like, that's going to have to wait till tomorrow. So it won't take that long to do the bedroom. So um, it was nice to get the house put put together and, and all of that fun stuff. Um, oh, and I, I know what the other thing was. I went out and cleaned up dog poop. Yeah, so something has to be done every so often. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's all that we got going on here. We're gonna have fried rice tonight because I, I looked and see, I have. Okay, you know I love that Misfits Markets. The, the the boxes of produce that are delivered right to your door. Well. We like it so much, we did upgrade to the Madness bar, box now. Because we really are going through a lot of produce, and that's really a wonderful thing. Um, we enjoy the uh, different types of vegetables. Um, like tonight, we were going to make goulash. And then I got in the fridge, and I was getting out some stuff. We had leftover chicken pizza, so I was having some for lunch. And I and then, excuse me. <laughs> baby bok choy and then I knew we had a small head of purple cabbage from there too and uh, I think we still have some mushrooms left from there and so that stuff all needs to be used because Thursday our new box comes and so I text Brad and uh, he's mainly doing the um, 
cooking at night or maybe the finishing up cooking at night, I will either start stuff in a crock pot for him or I will get out meat and I, like tonight I will cut up all the stuff, the cabbage and the, the bok choy and the mushrooms and, and whatever else wants to put in the, in the fried rice. Um, I just make it easier. I'll make sure the rice is cooked. I'll make sure the hamburger sausage is out for the fried rice. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I still have that stuff that needs to be used up. It's like, I'm going to hurry up and use this up. So, uh, really liking the fact you get to pick on this Misfits Market what is in your box now. I don't know if it's the first box that you don't get to or if they had just changed that. And so, because ever since my second box on now, we've been able to pick the produce. Um, Brad and I are kind of taking turns every other box. Um, this box, the you know, the first box you didn't get to pick. The second box I picked. This third box, which had been upgraded to a madness, um, I let him pick what he wanted for the produce and stuff in the box. So, yeah, that's fun too. That's fun too. Looking at all the different varieties of stuff. I think he did get, I think the only add on, and then you can have add ons, and, but I think the only add ons he did this time was blueberries. I think he went ahead and got some blueberries. So, um, and I'm not sure if we got the, Mushrooms or not, that on this next order as an add on. So, anyway, we're excited about all of that coming in. So, then you're in the push to get to use up that produce that you already have. It's like, I don't know if I'll do it today, maybe I'll do it tomorrow, but um, I have a lot of apples. So, I need to either make, I haven't decided if I'm going to just do the, the baked apples in the, in the oven. Or if I'm going to do uh, apple pie. I do have pie pie. I might just do an apple pie. You know, I might just do that. I might just do an apple pie with a double crust too. Because, you know, that would be something different. I think I probably will do that. You know, I don't know. You know, and then we have some fruit cups we bought that were these sugar-free fruit cups. Um. Yeah, they were sugar-free. I was trying to, trying to remember if it said it was in light syrup or, or you know, that was, you know, no added sugar. Um, anyway, they didn't taste like this. They were little fruit cups. They were variety pack. They did not taste like anything. Both of them taste like that. So, I hate to waste stuff. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the fruit and I bought some sugar-free jello and I'm going to make you know, use the fruit in the jello and then use some cool whip. So, you know, that'll be something nice, light, and refreshing. So, I started a trek. I talked about, I think, yesterday about Brad had bought some on town Greek yogurt for me to help combat, naturally combat, um, yeast infection. No, you don't put it up there. <laughs> probably think somebody's probably thinking that, too. You know, no, you're not using it like that way. Um, uh, but, um, this is my second day I've done it, and I do think I feel better. You know, so that's good. Um, that's about it. Just working on a hat, enjoying watching Grey's Anatomy. Got a couple new, uh, uh, got uh, No Place Like Home or something like that tart or wax melt going. And this, wax, this tart we're done here, and then the one that separates the kitchen and the front room, that counter, it has another um, uh, tart burner and it has um, cinnamon apple. So, house is feeling nice and homey. Um, I don't know if I told you or not, I got to talk to my daughter twice yesterday. That was really nice. She was off work for the President's Day. Now, Florida does not observe President's Day, oddly enough. So, um, you know, we're all, all excited about the move and everything. Um, she's been telling more people, and in fact, I went to tell my sister-in-law, and my daughter didn't tell me, so, um, but yeah, it's exciting, and so we're just working on that, looking for housing. If anybody knows of people in Georgia, or maybe you have family or something, I have one friend, Marnie, who I need to get a hold of, because I know she said she was basically born and raised there and had family there. 
because we're looking for rent. You know, or if somebody wants to help do owner financing on a home. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. And, and our biggest concern is housing. My daughter's biggest concern, of course, and, and well, both of my daughters, is jobs and housing. So, um, you know, so that's what's going on now. Uh, grandkids are doing great. My granddaughter got another piercing. And you know, that's what's popular right now. And I don't have any say so. I'm just a grandmother. So, you know, I think she looks beautiful always. So, you know, but she's, uh, so she's got another face piercing and she dyed her black. And she looks cute with her black hair. She looks cute with any hair. But, you know, what, what am I going to say? I'm just a grandma. <laughs> So I just be so happy when I see them all. They're all gonna get the biggest hugs ever. I mean, I just can't wait to see them. It's been four years since we've seen any family members. And the hardest thing ever was leaving with my granddaughter crying. That broke my heart. I almost caved in and said we just can't do this. But I knew I had to. And um, you know, as as fate has it, they were moving anyway. So, you know, things have totally changed. So I'm just excited we will be reunited and stuff. So I'm excited. So anyway, that's all I got going on. Let me know what you guys got going on. Do you have a good day going? Are you just feeling kind of mellow like I am? Been kind of falling asleep off and on. Excuse me. Here in the chair. So, oh, I have to take my morning pills. Oh my goodness! Did you guys let me forget to take that? I don't know where my my pills are actually. Oh, there's. I think they're right here. Oh, that's an empty one. Maybe it's this one. Yes, it's this one. <laughs> I always do Brad and I both before we have empty pill bottles, you know, is we'll scratch out the labels and stuff, and then we use them, like, we because we have the big, long, weekly ones that are, like, for night, nighttime and daytime, like everybody has or most people have. So we'll put, like, and we keep them in the bedroom. So at night, we'll put the next day pills in here and just, it's easier just to carry out with us. Because Brad normally eats his breakfast um, at work. He'll take yogurt and fruit or whatever he wants to have, and he'll, he'll eat it there at work. And um, I eat mine later, so, yeah. I should have done it when I, I had my breakfast, because I did have breakfast. And I meant to, because I had Greek yogurt with a little bit of sugar-free caramel on it, and because it's just plain vanilla, and um, I sliced up a banana in it. I should have done it then, but oh. Thank you guys for reminding me. Uh, anyway, I love you guys, and I do cherish your friendship so very much. Let me know what you're up to, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. You have a great day.